I'm Bill Lynch. Uh, I have Penns Creek Pottery. We've been here since uh, November of 1978. Uh, we're located in a restored uh, flour mill, a water-powered mill built 1818. Ran on water power until 1951 and then was just allowed to, uh, well then they raised chickens in the building and and it pretty well was derelict until we moved here and uh, bought the place and we restored it in 1989 and uh, it's where we make and sell the pots. We do our firing in a building out back. Uh, we have a uh, a big propane kill and a wood burning kill, two chambered uh, Japanese wood burning kill. We fire stoneware and porcelain, and we also sell work of other Pennsylvania craftspeople. Well, I studied with Charles Counts in Rising Fawn, Georgia. Charles apprenticed with Marguerite Wildenhain, who was a Bauhaus potter. So, really, these are. Um, German country forms and techniques that we use. Uh, I surround pots. I like the potter, big bellies. <laughs> they're, uh, they're made to use, they're microwavable and they're dishwasher safe. Of course we don't use lead. We tend to fire porcelain in the wood burning kill and stoneware in the propane. Although recently we've used wood firing glazes on porcelain mm -hmm. in the gas kill and we're getting some great results with, with those. We sell all the pottery right here. We did shows until 1990 and then uh, I stopped wholesaling in 90 when we moved into the mill here for retailing and uh, our plan has worked pretty well. People come out here now and we're here every day but Sundays and Mondays and uh, shows are great but the shows pick up and go away and then when people want to buy more they don't know where to get it. So uh, I like having a retail store. When I apprenticed with Charles Counts in Rising Fawn, Georgia I met some of the traditional potters down there and uh, there was a man, Bill Gordy, who was a fifth generation potter and uh, Mr. Gordy said to me, well son, when you get your own business going, don't peddle your pots, let people come to you. And I, th I thought at the time that that was pretty good advice. So uh, we're here making and selling at the same time. And uh, it works much better that way for me. You know, there are people who do shows and make their living doing nothing but shows. Um, but it's a whole lot of time out of production, and it's making the pots that I like best of all. So this suits me. And uh, there are potters who wholesale everything, but they don't get to meet the ultimate user and uh, I like getting to know the people who are using the pots so so that's basically what we're all about here at Penn's Creek Pottery <laughs>